part of the job that those people showing you boobies don't show you. Because <laughs> most of them made their fella get out and do it. Oh, they plowed this a little. That's good. So they sent me a load. We are picking up at Gray Bull down at the mines. I knew that. And we are going to um, Henry Drill in College Grove, Tennessee. Well, that'll get us to the middle of the United States to get them home anyways. But I'm going to run into this truck stop. We're at the pile at the different one across the highway. I've never been inside here. I'm going to go in and see what they got. And we're going to head on. We always have to go in at the Wyoming scales, but this lady right here, she uh, she's got it together. She's got signs up where she just puts it in the window, telling you to park, and then she's got one up here to clean your lights. I hope she's gonna, she's gonna. Will you hold your sign up for me? Look at that, and look at the clean, clean your trailer lights. Thank you. See you next time but that's too cool. <laughs> Gotta love Wyoming. <laughs> Whew, we are gonna get on down the road now. Y'all look, I'm starting to melt off. It's starting to melt. Y'all look at that sign right there. Watch out for snakes. I guess this time of year we don't have to worry about that. It's kind of, I don't know what you call this out here, but it is whatever that is out here. Going in. We're going in. See that guy, he's going to have to back up to that right there. That dry van, and they're going to load him that way. To the right. Am I gonna make it? Barely. Barely. I'm barely gonna make it. We are getting 15 pallets. 
Ponzi said. ticking again and um I'll have enough time to get him out of the civil out to civilization where he uh he can have a nice easy shift of driving. Don't see nothing special on there. Called 48 hours prior to delivery. Call him, tell him we'll be there Monday morning. Uh, we ain't got any service. <laughs> Let me see if I get some going out of here. I'll have to call them as quick as we uh I'm gonna send 
Carla a message and I'm going to ask her to call him. I'm going to go ahead and click my clock on because my 14 is ticking down. So, I mean, I can't pause it. So, we might as well get our asses up here. Boy, they're lined up now. So this right here is what we got down. He's getting good at throwing them straps, ain't he? He's going to make a good truck driver. But that's what we got. And I'm getting ready to put this down and get to work. All righty, we're tarping. We got that one. Woo! Done already. I almost busted my ass right then. There's snow up here. Guess y'all can see that. That's the real part of flatbed. Just right down to the bottom. We don't need any slack or anything. We don't. Y'all, y'all look, he's about a pro. He's whooping my ass. He's ahead of me, but it's 16 degrees. I don't work too good in that type of weather. But I'm going to go over here and get mine done. And then we're going to get on out of here. You'll get to see how fast it goes with your bungees already hung. And you not, uh, yeah, do this, do this one right here somewhere, okay. even if it's just right here. But you'll see how fast it goes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not just my way or the highway. You have to find...
is my trainee. He, uh, his mom is in the hospital and she had surgery and she's having complications so he's having to fly out of here. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and roll on out. Nothing I can do. This is there's just nothing any closer that'll get him there any faster. This sucks being an over-the-road driver for him right now. But he won't he won't get home till 11 o'clock tonight, so. And he's the decision maker for his mama. Tough on the poor guy.